Elliot! Hey guys, it's Jana and welcome to Pinch of Luck. Today we are going to make these super cute Pete's Dragon cookies. It's Elliot! I was inspired by this cute Elliot Tsum Tsum stuffy. He's just so cute. We went and saw Pete's Dragon this weekend and it was so good I had to make a little treat about it so we're gonna make some cookies. All of the ingredients and tools we will be using will be down in the description below. So let's get lucky! I am just making a simple sugar cookie recipe. If you have your own recipe just use it. It's cool. First we're just gonna sift together all our dries. I got three cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a fourth teaspoon of salt and just set that aside. And we're just going to mix together an egg and a tablespoon of extract. I am using almond extract because, well, it just smells delicious and tastes delicious, but you can just go ahead and use vanilla or whatever other flavor you might want. In your big mixer, go ahead and cream up two sticks of unsalted butter and one cup of sugar. Make sure you get it all light and fluffy. About three to five minutes will do. And then you're gonna add in your egg mixture and beat that together. And add your flour mixture one scoop at a time until it's all mixed together. And just take your dough and knead it for a couple minutes and wrap it into some plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge for about four to eight hours. You can even leave it overnight if you don't want to deal with it later, however you wanna do. Now that it is all chilled, it is actually pretty hard. We are going to break our dough in half and just start working with it to soften it up a little bit to roll it out. Once it's all softened up, go ahead and flour your surface and grab your rolling pin and start rolling out your dough. Take your circle cookie cutter and start cutting out some circles. Throw some baking spray on your cookie sheet and put your cookies right on. Just keep rolling and cutting out until you've used up all your dough. Now that they are all cut out, go ahead and throw these cookie sheets in the refrigerator for another 15 minutes just to make sure that the cookie will hold its shape in the oven. This step is super important. I didn't do it one time and it came out Ugh, yuck. Yeah, don't do that. While they are in the fridge, go ahead and preheat your oven to 375 and then cook your cookies for about nine to 10 minutes. Now that our cookies have completely cooled, it's time to start putting Elliot together. So I have some green fondant that I am going to use, so just throw some powdered sugar on your work surface and roll this out. And then we're gonna take the same cookie cutter we used for our cookies and cut out the little circles. And then we're just going to use a little bit of edible adhesive on the back of the fondant and stick it right to the cookie. Now we're just going to take some green and some yellow and mix it together to make a little bit of a lime green. Now we're just gonna roll it out and take our oval cookie cutter and make some snouts. Now we're just gonna take our snout and brush on just a little bit of water to help it stick to our cookie. These guys are looking so cute. Now we just need to make some eyes and some nostrils so we are just going to roll out some black. And I don't have a small circle cutter or a small teardrop cutter so I improvised. These are lids to chapstick. That's right, super simple. Of course I washed them up really good and I just pinched this one a little bit on one end so it will look like a teardrop shape. So the circles will be his eyes and the teardrop will be his nostrils. And just glue them to the cookie with some water. Cute, cute, cute. Almost done. We need one more detail. This little poof on his head. We're gonna do half old school with the pink poof and we're going to do half of the new version with the limeish green that we made. So to make the hair, we are going to use a garlic press and we're just going to stick a little bit of our fondant in there and push it through and it makes awesome hair. And we're just gonna take little scissors and take a little bit off and get it together and place it on our cookie. All right guys, here he is, Elliot the Cookie. He looks so awesome, I love it. So you're just gonna let these dry overnight or just start eating them now? Mm-mm, it's good. I think we got lucky. 
If you guys make this, send me a picture on Twitter, and if there's anything you want to see, just leave a comment down below. And as always, if you loved it, like it, subscribe to it, and share it. Thanks, guys. Mwah.